it's the pro the main problem that I've had with uh, interpreting uh, the Bible is is trying to approach it literally. It's um it's it's extremely difficult to do, and um, I think that. What I like to think is that the the stories of the Bible are archetypal, which means that, and what I mean by that is that they are representative of the development of humanity, humanity and its yeah. ideals over time. And and what I'm what I mean to say, evolu belief in evolution, I mean. Yeah. Uh, social evolution. Yeah. yeah. So, like, this, the development of ideas, the the idea of logos, and uh, and so on. Um, I only wish I was able to pick the right words. But, you know, it's um. Can I can I just come yes, in there with yes, you? Yes, I understand what you're saying that it's archetypes. That that you're saying that there are many stories in the Bible that are not literal, but archetypes. But once you start to go down that road, what you're doing is you're making reason your authority because the biologos theologians who pump this who, who are the main theologians like N.T. Wright and some massive powerful theologians that, that take your view that they, they're saying that actually they're very biblical that this is a very biblical thing to do but actually it's not it, 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 it's really What's happening is culture is pressing on the Bible. We see science, and science, from an evolutionary point of view, doesn't seem to match the Bible. So we've got to come up a way of reconciling it. So the theologians then crush under the culture, and they come up with ideas, I'm not saying you are, with the archetypes. But like I said, Christianity, uh, and, and also, you are correct in that there's many books in the Bible, there's 66 books in the Bible. And some of it's poetic, some of it's um, prophetic. So you have to intelligently expound it like you're saying, not just take it literally sometimes. But the fundamental bedrock of Christianity, the fundamental basics that sin came into the world, the history of Israel, and Christ dying on the cross, and rising again. Christianity is rooted in history, and it's, that's what, what makes it different from Hinduism and Islam, is that our faith is rooted in a real sin that came in, and a real saviour. And, and that's why it's important. And this archetype idea, you've got to be careful, because really what it is, is your intellect kicking in, and it's really your intellect that's authority. If you allow the Bible to speak for itself, what answer would you get? interpret the Bible the way the Bible interprets it. So you've got to interpret intelligently. Some people who say everything's literal are not correct because you, you read prophecy, you can't read prophecy literal. You've got to interpret prophecy the way prophecy is expounded in, in Isaiah or Ezekiel. So it's not, you know, so you've got to be very careful. Uh, poetry. Got to, you can't expound poetry literally, you've got to find the nuance of poetry, how poetry works. But when you come to history, then that's literal. And that's different from a parable. And so you've got, you've got to... You, 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 there's an intelligence in what you're saying, but there's a danger in moving away from this historical reality of Christianity. And, and, and the authority of the Bible. I don't mean to con conflict with the Bible when I'm talking about archetypes. Like, for example, I'm talking an example of an archetype could be the tyrannical father. You know, the king that wants to shoot the messenger. It's, it, what I mean by archetype is that you have examples of the way humans behave. Yeah. And it can be applied to multiple stories. And it's like you, you, know, you see a particular character that appears in multiple stories, but it's not the same person. Yeah. It's like, there's, and there's the archetype of, of the savior. It's, it's like, um, it's, I'm not trying to be inventive because, and I, I understand completely how um, the mind falls in love with its own creations. But I'm a cartoonist and I'm a storyteller. And that's what I aim to practice. That's my um, that's my aim in life is to tell stories. Basically. So I've been I've looked at a lot of stories, and there's and you will see like 
when you start paying attention to stories, you see stuff in them that you never saw before. Like, for example, like the Lion King is an archetypal story. Like Pinocchio is an archetypal yeah. story. It's like, and just if you have someone who's like who knows how the human mind works, explain it to you. Because this the person I've been listening to is really fantastic. You should you should check him out. Um, and um, it's, it, if you can, if you have someone who knows how the human mind works, explain how stories work and how archetypes work. It's just, it, it just puts the it's creative. It puts humans in a in a uh, in a vision that's just really you know everything's tied together and not in a nice little bow. It's really I understand. I, I, Peterson, I love. I absolutely love Peter. I think he's great. I don't agree with everything. And I understand what you're saying, the creativeness. And there are archetypes, and I would agree with that in terms of um, there are stories and then there are similar stories. But C.S. Lewis said that the, the, the archetype of all archetypes is Jesus the Savior. You know, and I think that we've got to be careful that we can see all the creativity of all these archetypes but forget that the ultimate archetype is Christ who wants us to have a relationship with the Father and that Christ has died for us and, and coming to know Christ and entering into that relationship by believing in Him as our Saviour is the most wonderful experience and, and great uh, understanding of who God is through Christ. So, this is an umbrella. So the greatest... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap up now. So, the greatest excitement... The great... Thanks for doing that. The greatest excitement in life is knowing God. And it's through Christ. So I would say... All, all what you're saying is really interesting and there's some good stuff. But I would just say, just think about also the ultimate archetype of Christ, the relationship through Christ that he died for us and that Christianity is rooted in history, that the Bible is authority and to be hold these theories loosely if they attack the basic foundation of the historical faith and, and the salvation. Okay. You're great guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. You can watch this on